Hello and welcome to the Applied AI News. We have a lot of exciting content today. In this episode, we'll dive into the rapidly evolving world of AI, exploring its impact across various sectors. We'll examine the core science of large language models, the practical implications for agents and workflows, and the emerging challenges and opportunities for businesses. We'll look at how AI is being used to personalize experiences, optimize processes, and potentially transform how we work with a specific focus on Microsoft technologies and the future of the workplace. Let's start with some developments from the industry that have the potential for immediate impact. The emergence of AI tools that analyze and potentially manipulate user intentions online presents a significant ethical and business challenge. The intention economy, as researchers call it, where AI predicts and influences user behavior, is a concerning development for two reasons. First, the implications for free markets and fair competition, and second, the impact on human aspirations and autonomy. We need to understand that this isn't just about targeted advertising. It is a potential shift in how we navigate the digital world and what we expect from personalization, cultural shifts at large scales, and the speed of its development calls for careful examination and regulation to ensure it doesn't erode human decision-making. Let's move to Microsoft's significant strides with their AI Copilot ecosystem. The introduction of Copilot Vision, which allows the AI to understand the context on the screen, is a practical way to enhance user experience. It can provide real-time analysis and insights. Think of it as an AI companion that can see what you see in the digital world and discuss issues alongside you, helping with tasks from planning a trip to learning new skills. This feature enhances productivity, is a tangible application of AI in daily life, and will gradually expand across various Microsoft platforms. Another practical application of Copilot is the expansion of the Copilot Studio. The availability of pre-built AI agents for Microsoft 365 covers a wide range of use cases from IT help desk to onboarding and sustainability. The possibility of customizing these pre-built solutions with an organization's knowledge combined with the ability to create custom agents, offers an effective means to automate processes and increase productivity with minimal effort right now. Moving on to the broader applications of AI agents in general, the article from Digital Assistants to Digital Employees proposes a more radical shift. The concept of AI agents that function not just as assistants, but as digital employees capable of handling complex tasks and missions is a potential game changer. They would operate as dynamic teams, adapt to new situations, and become a part of the corporate structure with marketplaces and certification bodies just like human employees. The article paints an interesting image of how a company can hire AI agents with a certain skill set and rating in the future, similar to a real employee. This vision, although still distant, requires us to consider the future of work and the necessity of governance frameworks and integration with existing systems. This will be a whole new domain to explore, and we need to consider things now rather than later in order to leverage their potential in a positive way and not become a victim of the technology. This also challenges the applicability of current academic benchmarks as the new algorithms, being language models or not, are being considered in real-world scenarios where topics such as negotiation, human relationship, Empathy and stakeholder management are more abundant than solving math and logic problems. Lastly, the article Your Brand through ChatGPTIs serve as a reminder that AI implementation is not just about the tech, but its impact. The article discusses how ChatGPT perceives brands, affecting the buying choices, and it points out the value of managing the brand's public image in order to be seen in the best light by the AI. This becomes particularly interesting when it comes to chat-based search engines and what should they consider for recommending content. Now let's get into the academic side of things. The research on large language models, LLMs, is rapidly progressing. A study published in Nature tested LLMs on theory of mind, finding that GPT for matches or exceeds human performance on most tests, but initially struggles with some faux pas tests due to a conservative behavior rather than a true inability of social inference. This tells us that while these models are sophisticated, they still require further refinement. Understanding these limitations is critical as we integrate AI into real-world applications. 
The paper, Generative Agents for Innovation, presents a unique perspective into using AI agents for collaborative, innovative work. By having agents with internal states that evolve through dialogue, they could produce novel insights, as demonstrated by their ability to replicate the core ideas behind Dyson's Bladeless Fan. This research suggests that AI isn't just a tool for execution, it's a tool for idea generation too. We also have some great papers about scaling. The paper, Scaling LLM Test Time, Compute Optimally demonstrates that scaling test time computation can be more effective than scaling model parameters, especially when applying adaptive resource allocation. This means smaller models, if given more computation power during inference, can outperform bigger models which require massive infrastructure. This finding is significant, as it indicates that we can achieve higher performance with smaller models and less cost. It also provides a potential way to mitigate the issue of limited data on the internet. The fact that Llama 1B could outperform Llama 8B is a good example. A question here would be around what is a good balance between intensity of computation time inference and size of the model given different use cases. The companion paper to this one is the INF Align, Inference Aware Language Model Alignment, which shows that current alignment methods are suboptimal for inference time decoding. It proposes new inference-aware alignment techniques, which improve inference time performance by making models better for the inference step. Emergent abilities and grokking challenges the notion of sudden performance jumps in large language models and makes us question the way that we measure results. The study found that perceived emergent abilities might be measurement artifacts, as more granular metrics reveal gradual and thus more predictable improvements in performance. Understanding this is very important for anyone scaling LLMs or interpreting their results. The article with title agents are not enough provides a broader perspective, arguing that for agents to be effective, they must be part of an ecosystem of user models and assistants. It is a good reminder that we are not in a point solution world, but rather we need to think about all the elements of the final product. Then a survey paper gives us a solid overview of the LLM landscape, including the most prominent model families, their characteristics, and the datasets they were trained on, serving as a great reference for understanding where things stand with the rapidly evolving world of LLMs. Finally, let's briefly touch on the hands-on articles. A simulation of me shows how one can create a digital simulation by fine-tuning an LLM on text messages giving us all some practical steps of how we can all achieve our personal LLM to act like us. AI Agents Marketplace and Discovery highlights the challenges of using LLMs as the engine for multi-agent systems, useful for anyone considering that design path. Small language models instead, ChatGPT class models, argues that smaller language models can often be more practical and efficient and provide comparable or better results on specialized tasks, a valuable insight for those planning deployment. AI Agent Workflow Design Patterns presents practical AI agent design patterns, focusing on reasoning and planning capabilities, useful for anyone developing such agents. In summary, we've explored a broad spectrum of AI developments today. We've seen the potential for transformative change in how we work and interact online. From the practical applications of Microsoft's Copilot to the complex ethical implications of intention economies, and from the fundamental scientific discoveries to the user-facing tools, it's clear that AI is not just a technological trend, but a force shaping our lives today. By understanding these developments, especially from a Microsoft perspective, we can leverage them effectively and responsibly. That's it for today. Thanks for tuning in and see you all next time.